Welcome, ladies and gents. I'm Dan the Man Munoz, host of Movie Many Reviews, your weekly movie news and reviews podcast. I am joined by our special guest, comedy writer and uh, thought leader of Hoover Canoes Industries, Corey Zerby. Hi. Yeah, Corey. Thank you. Also here is our special correspondent, who's a little richer now, oh, yeah. Rigo Espinosa. <laughs> Thank up, you for guys? being on the show. What's up? What's up? And also here, another thought leader of Hoover Canoes Industries, who I just found out <laughs> got upgraded. Um, also, my co-host, Mike Stan. Yay. So you might know that Z's <laughs> not here today. Um, he died. <laughs> uh, he got he got um, recruited by Hoover Canoes Industries, yeah. so mm -hmm. for a brain he's transplant at surgery. work mm -hmm. right now. Don't forget their four time award winning Hoover Canoes Industries. That's that's true. I thought it was five time. It's, it's, it's time? ten time. Well, we it's just uh, want twenty again. time <laughs> Oscar winning <laughs> billion time billion. <laughs> Okay, so the movie we are reviewing today is War for the Planet of the Apes. This will be a spoiler-free review, so don't give away that there's apes in this movie. Oops, mm. sorry. No. Uh, awkward. Okay, so this movie is directed by Matt Reeves, and here's the plot. After the apes suffer unimaginable losses, Caesar wrestles with his darker instincts and begins his own mythic quest to avenge his kind. It stars Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, Steve Zahn, and Karen Carnival. All right, guys. I believe we've all seen this movie, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So we shall decide yeah. if this movie is worth a dine in, watch it in theaters, take out, wait and watch it at home, or leftovers, go ahead and take or die from the simian flu <laughs> <laughs> to avoid <laughs> watching this movie. <laughs> so Corey, as our special guest and the thought leader of Hoover Canoes Industries. Right. I'm going to see if we could do a count every time <laughs> we mention Hoover Canoes we'll Industries. Shot, Ding. <laughs> yeah. Acid shot. Drinking game. Uh, go ahead and rate this film. Oh, I shall also mention, though, since you are a special guest, Corey, you have the option of if you to earn a point, you could go ahead and give keep your point or give it to one of us. Um, but the points are now rolling over, so you can keep the points and they actually have some value oh, in oh. a future episode. Some down the line. Okay. If Ooh. you if you decide to come back, <laughs> what, what's the what's the tally right now? Uh, uh, that's to to be announced. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think it's a it's a it's a tie. It's you 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 had four then six. now you have twenty. I have twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Zero. We'll put it into like a four hundred one k. Yeah, it's a four. Yeah, interest. yeah. We'll 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 match the exact yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> <to> five percent. <laughs> but if you borrow against your point, then you. You mm. have to pay interest. So right. I'm just letting you it's know right early now. early penalty. For yeah, okay. exactly. It's worth it, though. It's well <laughs> worth it. These points are hard to come by. <laughs> just ask <laughs> <my> <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mike. <laughs> so okay. you're losing, right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. badly. Yeah. Dan's referring to me when he says that. Cause I think I, I don't think I've won any. I and think that's I okay. donated my points to you last time. Too. Yeah, and I like I, I donated them to somebody else or something. I think well, the I whole reason why we have points is because whoever earns most points at the end of the season will go ahead and create their own segment of yes. anything movie related. Hopefully, yes. Um, so it could be anything. Uh. I won many multiple times, so I am getting difficult to try to come up with more <laughs> segments. <laughs> so for the love of God, please win, Mike and Z. I'll, I'll be Dan's uh, s ghost segment creator. <laughs> it it kind of happens. It's like it's like these are five ideas. And I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah. And then then Dan has something better. So my which is okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. So point. I have the option. You well, have the Michael, option. hold on. Michael Hills joined us. He told us, "Hope you guys have a great show. I'm afraid of spoilers to watch right now. I haven't seen the movie yet. Okay. Well, this is a spoiler-free section. Spoiler-free. I get it because I also I don't watch I also don't watch spoiler reviews. Spoiler-free reviews before I watch the movie also because I like to go in not knowing anything. Darth Vader is Duke's father. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's impossible. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so Corey, go ahead and give your rate it's rating system or your rate it's this a movie. Dine in. Dine-in for me. Watch it in theaters? Mm-hmm. Uh, Rigo. I'm going to give it a dine-in. Uh, so the little... Mm, earlier was a little... 
<laughs> it was fake. Yeah, it was fake. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, rate this film. You know what? I'm gonna go as a takeout. No way. I'm doing it. Yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yes. What's your problem? <laughs> 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 Why do you hate movies? Because this is know. a dine-in. We'll, 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 we'll just see. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Um, we should also say if you have um, Z did come up with the rating for this movie as well. Let me uh, pull that up real quick. Oh, maybe I don't have it. I do have it. Okay. So this is what Z says. And we could piggyback off what he mm-hmm. says. His rating system is dine in. While War of the Planet of the Apes is a spectacular and should be enjoyed in the theater, be aware that the biggest fail failing of the film is the human antagonist. He's a cliche in the trilogy of originality, and for this reason alone, doesn't make for a perfect trilogy. Dan and Mike can argue that War's true antagonist is Caesar himself, but wouldn't that just be lazy writing? No, it would not. But we'll go more into that. Um, so let's go ahead before we talk about. Mike's reasoning for it being a takeout because we're all gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna change my thing inside with Mike. On takeout. <laughs> I don't want him to be alone. <laughs> no, no, um, like you can keep it as dining. Sure. I'm strong sure. together. together. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, 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 it's, it's together no. strong. Yeah, that was perfect, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll say as dining. <laughs> okay, That's fine. <laughs> yeah, stupid human. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um, so, well, Mike, talk about why this is a takeout for you. Okay. I just, uh, one of the things is I felt like they could have been edited down a lot. I, f- I feel like, like the uh, antagonist is introduced in the very beginning, and there's just a long period of time where he returns. And, and I, f- I feel like the movie really doesn't start again until, like, um, I. Uh, it doesn't start again when they need to create some sort of plan. I don't want to go into too much details without ruining the film. So, but but I feel that was uh, part of what made it a takeout for me, as well as just the the antagonist was an issue with me. So, who is the antagonist? Woody like? Harrelson. Woody Harrelson specifically. Well, I shouldn't say he's he didn't uh, his. He did a great job with the acting. I f- I should backpedal and mention that it's more of the the writing that was that caused this to be a takeout for me. So, oh, um, interesting because I disagree. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, well, I thought Woody Harrelson as an antagonist, <clears throat> he's basically like the what's the most terrible thing about man, and that's what he presents. Mm-hmm. And uh, just if you look at how other, um. Things were made like The Walking Dead, The Mist, yeah. and all that stuff. Woody Harrelson basically characterizes all of what's wrong with man. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they did that so it would be easier for us to side with Caesar. But I feel like this movie is not um, war for the Planet of the Apes for the sense of a war going on. I, I feel agree. like it's Caesar's war within himself. Exactly. Right, right, right. You're absolutely right. I thought it was more of a psychological war. I took it as as um yeah with C- Caesar. Uh, Caesar and Woody Harrelson both fighting the war not n- with each other but also within themselves yeah because they both have like strong feelings on as to why they're doing the things they're doing and um that's mainly what I took from it I, I and I, I thought Woody Harrelson had a nice complex depth to him to his story mm-hmm. like I yeah, you get the reasoning why it's not a great um it's a very crazy reason why but you get mm. a background behind what he was why he believes what he believes mm. I, the problem i found with that is the way he delivered that message felt kind of like a like a monologue where he's just explaining his whole like all here are all of my motivations you guys it just seemed too like neat a package the way he did and that's why i, I kind of one of the reasons i felt he was a caricature but it, but it, it, i felt like it worked in the sense because the one thing that we need to talk about is that the CGI in this movie is incredible. It's amazing. So yeah. when he is, when Woody Harrelson is monologuing. He totally looked like Woody Harrelson. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Special effects were great. <laughs> it was great. Uh, you know, you see Caesar's eyes and how he's reacting to that monologue. I feel like that's the reason why. The monologue wasn't for Woody Harrelson's story back, but also just to see, like, who is the real animal here. Mm-hmm. And we see it through Caesar's eyes. And yeah. it's really compelling and very emotional. 
to see you know everything through Caesar's eyes because mm-hmm. he's the one who followed through all three, three movies yeah and I feel like his arc is so interesting and it's like for me this movie was really really great and I never thought of that I would love the Planet of the Apes movies the old ones I'm like whatever but they did such a great job with the trilogy mm-hmm. that I was very satisfied with it mm-hmm. each okay. one got better and better I think yeah yeah I agree and I feel like it was like each one got more emotional it wasn't like, and this movie starts off right off the bat. It continues off where the next, where the last movie left off, and it's like a one continuous shot for the opening scene. And and Matt Reeves is just, mm-hmm. you know, he's p- to me he's proven himself as a really solid director now, and he's going to be directing the next Batman movie. Yeah, that's what I was about to mention. So, I feel very comfortable with his vision and what he's going to do with that. So, what do you guys think about Matt Reeves? That first scene in the jungle was amazingly shot. I thought that was awesome. Th- it wasn't just the... I don't want to give all the credit to the directing, though. I think... Cinematographer? The cinematography. I mean, we can talk about the special effects all day, but the motion capture actors, Andy Serkis, yeah. were amazing. Wait, I mean, they were actors? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they you know, that apes? was one of my problems with this. You know, t- <laughs> it could have been a one-man show. Human, <laughs> humans get all the good parts. You know, I think they could have... It was specious, I think. They should have yeah, very specious. <laughs> <laughs> they should have gone legit. Yeah, yeah. I would Os- buy Oscar's so human? Yeah. Um, Oscar's so human. <laughs> one of the weak points, it could have used a little bit more guerrilla warfare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was the joke that I was telling you. Right <laughs> 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 and no one. La- no, I'm just kidding. I laughed. I told you I would. <laughs> you did. You did. You're right. So, um, Rigo, what did you think about Ra- Matt Reeves' direction? I think he did a good job. Um, out of the three movies, I would say this was well. The first one was is still my favorite, but I would say this was my s- the second uh, best that I've enjoyed out of the trilogy. And again, I I, I did enjoy that because I, honestly, I was expecting a full on war, for like war scenes and everything. We, we which kinda, we did get. Well, we, well, yeah, we did, but not what I thought it was just gonna be like, like just. Yeah, uh, a no holds bar battle royale. Just like give me like an hour of just war. Yeah, I thought I thought so as well. That, I, that's what I, I went going in, and when I when I got this other thing, I was like, oh man, this it threw me off. But I really I really enjoyed that. I, I enjoyed that. Well, I like the I like for me I like when movies, um, make me feel made me feel something. And this movie had such a psychological warfare in it, and you see that within the apes and the humans. And I felt like that was more interesting to watch than just, you know, things being blown up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the things that bothered me about the film, too, was Bad Ape. Oh, yeah. I, f- I felt like... Uh, th- so there's Yeah, so there's this character named Bad Ape who's the uh, comic relief of the film, and I just felt like it was it was heavy-handed. He was too Jar Jar Binks-ish. I, 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 I don't feel he should have even been in the movie to begin with. I think he totally had yeah. to be in the movie. The movie was so heavy. Um, and while I do think he was overused, yeah, he was overused for sure. There needed to be something like that. Um, I agree. Yeah. I think I think he did have a couple more scenes than he should have had. But you need that release and attention because this movie is not – It's very. I feel like it's very, in a sense – intellectual with this property mm. and it's not just surface there's a lot of layers to it mm-hmm. and uh, we forget that it's okay to laugh at certain moments and that's where this character represents it's like it's okay to laugh here mm-hmm. take mm-hmm. the break yeah i i don't know i i, 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 I thought w- it would have been like perfection if he wasn't in it just let it let it be what it's supposed to be like yeah. why add the comedy this is this is not it's not a comedy. It's a serious movie. Well, we otherwise it would have been like Schindler's List. It was so <laughs> damn fucking. Everybody yeah. loves Schindler's List. I know, but but how many people be watch the Schindler's yeah. List? No, they don't. They <laughs> don't. Right. Uh, but true. this movie is definitely worth a rewatch. So I saw this movie in um, in 3D. And so oh, I, how was it in 3D for you, Dan? It was great. I almost watched, wanted to watch it in 4DX because we saw Donald yeah, Trump we did. 4DX. That was the first 4DX movie we saw together. Yes, it was. And it was an amazing experience. And yes, I was like, was. damn, this, this probably would have been a, a great experience too. Yeah. Um, also, I really enjoyed uh, my favorite. Though Caesar is the lead in this movie and we, he's this one who, who we follow throughout the film. I have to say my favorite character is Maurice. Maurice yeah. mm-hmm. is... is the one of the greatest side characters. He is the, the. I would say. 
Jar Jar Binks? No. But he's like the <laughs> moral gravity. Yes, for thank you. He's like the moral uh, gravity. He's the the yeah yeah the um. He's he the was one the voice of reason. Voice of, there you go. Yeah, voice of reason. Voice of reason. Played by uh, Karen Carnival. Yeah, and did a great job. And yes, it was amazing. Maurice is still this lovable. Yeah. And he's the orangutan, and I don't know. I loved Maurice in the last movie, and you just love Maurice. In the I'm glad they gave Maurice a bigger role in this film. Yeah. yeah I, won't, I, won't, uh, I, I won't say anything. I was going to say something, but I was like, that might be spoiler, so I'll cut it out. Okay. Well, we'll we'll save it for a spoilers <laughs> review when you go into right. that. There, there's going to be a second half. There's yeah, there'll be half. a second half spoiler section, okay. which will be a uh, not for the Facebook podcast. Live, not yeah. Facebook Live. Yeah, on our podcast only. So if you want to hear the spoiler, Facebook dead. <laughs> Facebook <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and talk about. Um, oh, well, how was it in 3D though? Because I I watched the movie and I I really don't see any uh, elements that were 3D. What what parts were 3D? It's just the depth. And it was cool to watch, like, um, like um, arrows being. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so that's exactly what Corey had said. Yeah. Maybe the arrows look really yeah. cool. In the beginning, when they throw the arrows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. a lot of the gun warfare in the mess. Uh, I don't want to say too much. But a lot of the war stuff is pretty cool as well. Okay. And just the scenery, it looks beautiful in okay. 3D. Um, and, I mean, the special effects are, you know, are just in great in 3D when you're watching yeah. the apes. Uh, yeah, it's around. Th the but in 3D, as there, it's just the depth of it. it looks really, really crisp and really, really nice. Yeah, from beginning to end, the visual effects here are extremely amazing. So this is yeah. controversy going on, and oh, they had nice. talked about there's not controversy, but people are saying that they should include a best visual effects actor award, or include either a visual effects actor into the best actor. Uh, Do you think Andy Circus would be one who deserves to be nominated for best actor? As a CG character, Caesar. Yeah. Well, if he if he did a good of a uh, good enough job, yes, it should. Because be, some should, people argue the equal. fact that it's not just the actor, but it's also the the graphic um, the, the graphic design team. Yeah, but it, but it's his face, it. though. You you can clearly see it's his face. His fa his facial expressions are the ones that are uh, hmm. bo uh, uh, advancing the character. I mm -hmm. imagine it's a total team effort on that one. So yeah, it's hard to say. Andy Serkis is totally. You know, <laughs> Uh, click, <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Andy Serkis is doing all the physical <laughs> labor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The people are just behind. But, but not, he just does not, motion, not, he does motion capture computer, like digital. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but not to downgrade the work of the people who actually work on the uh, uh, special effects and visual effects. They do uh, they do hard work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I w I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> Long s yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say yes to your question, Ben. That there should be a category, sure. or any circuit should be yes. possibly nominated. You should have won for Golem. <laughs> for Golem, which is right here, yes. yeah, which is great. They can't see that. You're pointing like down to the right floor, there. basically. Here you go. It's floating now. Fresh. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go ahead and talk about um, the overall trilogy and how this movie fits in. Do you feel like it was a nice progression from Rise to Dawn to War? It was the perfect ending for Kong Skull Island. <laughs> 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 Which you hated. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so much better. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. this what you wish Kong Skull Island was? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. It's just sure. A, a giant Caesar on the yeah. giant Caesar. <laughs> On uh, Kong Skull Island, mm -hmm. no, that would have okay. that would ended the war really quick. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that would have been great. Um, I I really enjoyed the first two. I feel like this was the weaker out of the three. So especially, I, I was ho I was just I I was hoping for more war. For I felt like the second one had more uh, action than this third one. Maybe maybe I had incorrect expectations for. For uh, what this film was going to be, that's the problem with humans. I find they just <laughs> want more war. <laughs> Corey, as someone who works at Hooper Canoes <laughs> Industries as a thought leader, now if your company had came up with um, the simian flu, how would you, um, how would your company go ahead? How would and we profit? <laughs> <laughs> how would you uh, uh, try to continue mankind? Well, so man, ninety nine percent of mankind gets wiped out, right? I think so. Shoot, that's only that's really gonna cut into our profits. <laughs> um, but we still have the apes, so I'm gonna invest in banana stock. 
<laughs> because it's funny though we don't see them eat bananas <laughs> yeah, no. ever I don't think you know, any the, other uh, movies you know, you know what their favorite oh, you know what their favorite food is oh we do in the first movie you know what their favorite food is Apric- apricot <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that up <laughs> apricot <laughs> Banana, never mind. I think, was, I think I think uh, apricot or apricot was funnier. Yeah. Where you how you <laughs> fucked it up? Fuck. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and talk about. Um, what did you th- go on? I'm sorry. What did you guys think of the little girl in the movie? I actually liked the explanation, a lot. Um, and the, obviously, this movie. What I was gonna get at is that this movie is leading back into the original Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Cornelius Nova. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so which is very an interesting story, um, which is not spoiler because you know, that movie's come has been out for decades before <laughs> yeah, this movie. I guess she was kind of like the humanity in you know the few humans that we that were around. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, what I <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, and I yeah. agree. Yeah, and she was gonna. I almost felt like she was gonna be a, like a test for Caesar at times. Mm-hmm. I don't know that that is really how it played out, but I, I thought that at the beginning at least during it, it was, mm-hmm. it was. I think I, th- I think it was uh, continuing that internal battle with himself, with with trying to fight off the hatred towards just humans mm-hmm. in general. Yeah. So and and whether or not you'd see if he'll actually be able to overcome it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I totally agree with that. And, which he, and he killed her. <laughs> 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 which, Thanks for which, spoiling it, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you, you jerk. Uh, which I gotta say, Andy Circus <laughs> needs. We should talk about him some more because God, he's so incredible in this film. The struggle that Caesar has, because this is a very up close personal movie for Caesar. Yeah. Um, I feel like this movie focuses more on Caesar than any of the other movies, as it should. Mm-hmm. Right, and I think to see that struggle. Um, for how in the, p- the second movie we see Kobo's reason and why he hates humans, mm-hmm. and though he's doing really thing really bad things, we understand why he's doing it because he yeah. was in the first movie he's mistreated mm-hmm. by the humans. In this movie, we see the reasoning too, and we see the struggle yes. of wanting mm-hmm. to be like the second movie. Uh-huh. Uh, how Koba and then uh, how it, how they're related and how Caesar's situation which is, is great, also related, uh, which, which is great. Um, I feel like that's a great through line from the first, second, mm-hmm. and this third movie. Yeah, because to me, Koba is one of the greatest villains. I agree, and mm-hmm. yeah, and that's why another reason why the third kind of is not as strong for me. Yeah, I maybe it maybe it's just because I I loved Koba so much in the second. I don't know. It's because you hate man, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you hate all mankind. <laughs> Because he worked for Huber New, uh, Huber, sorry, Huber Canoes <laughs> Industries. I'll just clone Koba <laughs> <laughs> like twenty times, and give him give all of them machine guns so <laughs> and but horses and horses. But yeah. I will say, hey, hey, by, by the w- I mean it was it's in the, some of the photos. Can, can a horse really carry a gorilla? That's How? you know what I was looking that, that up earlier. I was like, I was like, I imagine they're gonna weigh like the same weight, you know? But but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like horses, I was looking. I mean, that gorilla was like as big as that horse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, Maybe like, the horse should have been. <laughs> it's like it's like one scene with a gorilla he's riding the horse, and the next scene with the with the gorilla <laughs> with the horse on its back. Yeah. he's light on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> he's like using his feet like a like someone mm. who doesn't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> but yeah, yeah. The pedals broke. <laughs> So I, I was curious. I was looking at that, like like a minimum weight for a horse. And someone correct us if you we're wrong, but uh, a minimum weight for a horse was like eight hundred pounds. And I said it. This doesn't sound right to me, but it said a minimum weight for a gorilla is like three hundred and fifty. That sounded too light. Mm. I think a gorilla is heavier than that. I think right? gorilla's heavy. And how yeah. much can a horse carry? I don't know. That's a good question. I didn't look you know that what? Up. A, a, a um, ape's favorite. Uh, sp- um, God fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You're not being uh, thinking, it, but it's your favorite subject in school. Favorite, is favorite, favorite applied app. physics. There you go. I got it out finally. A- a- apricot. <laughs> apricot. Apricot physics. A- applied. A- physics. Applied. That's good. That's good. All right. It's a nice effort. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I'm good. I'm coming down. <laughs> 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 Corey's gonna be like. <laughs> 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 And he looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any yeah. final thoughts before we close up this spoiler-free? Oh, uh, sorry. Actually, I wanted to go back into Woody Har- Harrelson. 
So, okay. I like the fact, though, <clears throat> that his character was, he, I mean, he owned his um, treachery and his yeah. evilness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I mean, like you said, that Woody Harrelson did a great job acting, but I also en- I liked it. I, I thought he did a great job as well. Was he better than Koba? No, but mm-hmm. I don't feel like he should have been because yeah. this movie is about Caesar. Mm-hmm. So I f- that was a nice balance between the two because you see where we saw in the second film where Caesar can go, and then this movie we see the other extreme yeah. of it as well. I I no, good, go ahead. I, I disagree. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> I just think I think I think that character could have been better. Uh, yeah, don't don't get me wrong. I you know the, there are so much in this film to enjoy and and so many of the things in this are top notch. And but I feel like like if the main focus is going to be like the um the battle of Caesar's mind, continue to take it further, continue to take it till it does snap. You know, I think they took it pretty far. I I, I d- disagree with you too, okay. and I disagree <laughs> with you. What? You're all wrong. You're all out no, of You know what? <laughs> the only problem I had with uh, Woody Harrison uh, character was was the way he was. Uh, I don't want to say um, the way he was uh, sent off per se, because I don't want to say what happens or anything. Yeah. But just you got on a plane. You got. You got <laughs> I, I just he took an Uber. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, he, just, he he chose Uber instead of Lyft. It's just my, oh, what's my a good name what's a good name for Uber? <laughs> it's just a I, I just didn't. I, I it was to me the the last part was very anticlimactic. Just in yes, general, I, everything. Uh, I agree like with you. Like you had this big old build up where yeah. it was like, oh yeah, Caesar against yeah. Woody Harrelson. Let's do this. Give oh, me like yeah. ten minutes, even if it's just them like. Yeah. Talking to each other, but being like, yeah, dramatic about it. No, there was no. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of emotion there, but I just felt like well, I think that's, I, that's I, something I, we'll I, say for spoiler. Yeah, but I, but I, but I felt I, like that. There, I mean, that was the reasoning there. That but the battle was an emotional conflict. In that yeah, moment. but we'll, that, we'll, we'll, that was the conflict we'll, we'll cover it in, in spoilers. Yeah. I think would be the wisest. Yeah. Thing. Um. Any final thoughts? Great film. Uh. I wished it was edited down a little shorter. There you go. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, if if you have a chance, go watch it. Um, but just don't expect any war, because there's no war. Wise. It's to say. Think. This war, this there's action scenes, especially in the beginning and at the very end. Um, Corey. Apes together strong. <laughs> yeah, this movie I feel it's really really well done, and it's a nice. Uh, I I know they're gonna make more movies. I'm sure because they have to be get up to where the um, new movie is. But so far, it's a solid trilogy. Now, now, do you guys think they should wait to do more? Give it some time. Maybe. Are we in spoiler territory yet? Not yet. No. <coughs> but we will be. So we're gonna close it off. Corey from Huba Canoes Industries. Anything you want to promote? Yeah, uh, Huba Canoes. <laughs> <Industries>. <laughs> Go to the website, hubacanoes.com, H-O-O-B-A, uh, how do you say C-A- C-A-N-O-E-S.com. Um, apply for a job. We will hire you. and we'll, uh, no, no interview required. You, you no interview. Hired. Yeah, we'll just, there'll be a knock on your door one day. Yeah. And you'll be called. <laughs> thank you so much, Rigo, for being on the show. You're welcome. And thank you so much, Mike, for being on the show. For sure. Now we're going to go ahead and say goodbye for now, but make sure to listen to our spoilers. Ooh, spoilers. Ooh, 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 that ooh. will be out soon. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. See you later. Ooh. All right. We're taking a break. Oh, we're still recording. One second.